I am Dr. S. Ashok. I am a surgical gastroenterologist and laparoscopic surgeon. I am practicing at Tnagar at Laser and Laparoscopic Hospital. I have been practicing major and minor surgeries from 1979 up till now and I have also been a professor head of the Department of Surgery in the University Medical College. We started initially in 1978-79 by doing major abdominal surgeries like removal of stomach for cancer stomach, removal of colon removal of gallbladder, liver surgeries and pancreatic surgeries. These are all open surgeries initially done by us. Later in 1991, we were the first to start laparoscopic work in Chennai and we started off doing a lot of gallbladder surgeries. Gallbladder is easily done through laparoscopy. After that, we started hernias being done through both the inguinal hernias and incisional hernias done through laparoscopy. We are also doing laparoscopic work for the uterus that is hysterectomy ectopic pregnancy, appendix and also removal of kidney that is laparoscopic nephrectomy. We are also doing endocrine surgeries like laparoscopic adrenalectomy, thyroidectomy today. We are number one laparoscopic center in the whole of India today and we are also doing advanced laparoscopic work as hiatus hernia for reflex GRD diseases and obesity surgery. I would like to highlight a few surgeries which is commonly done by us. Apart from laparoscopy, we do a lot of incisional hernias. Incisional hernias is large hernias, especially women get a large hernia. And these hernias unintended be, become very saggy and the skin and the fat also becomes very pendulous and a lot of skin change. It comes so big, as big as your knee joint. So it is sagging for the women. So in these cases, not only really we had repair the hernia, but also remove the excess fat and the diseased skin. That's called the tummy tuck operation or dermolipectomy. In these cases, we give them a bikini scar, very low scar and from that we remove the entire skin fascia up to the rib cage and then remove the excess skin and fat right from the umbilicus in a triangular fashion till the pubic bone below. Once we have done it, we will expose the hernia which is clean and put back inside the abdominal cavity. The defect is covered by a big mesh. Sometimes the defect is very large. We cover it with two meshes. That is called a double mesh technique which is primarily de designed by us way back in 84. So inside we use a PTFA, a Gore-Tex mesh and in the outside, outside we will be using a polypropylene mesh which is called Vipro. Our results have been exemplary and good and recurrence is practically nil in our cases. We have done over 25 to 30,000 cases right from 1979 and the results have been good. Now when we remove the excess fat skin from the umbilicus down to the pubic bone, the upper portion can be thinned down and it can stretch it out so that you can get a very low bikini scar. So that means when the woman wears an underwear, the scar is not seen and we will also create a new umbilicus for her in the appropriate position. So with this operation, what happens to women who are multiparous, that is those who have got multiple children delivered, that saggy abdomen becomes tight. Not only the front quarter becomes tight, the side quarter also becomes very sleek and as if she has got a virgin abdomen before the childbirth. This is a very reputed surgery, very acceptable by all women and lot of celebrities have also got done this through us. Our results have been exemplary here. The gallbladder surgeries, laparoscopy is a gold standard here and for laparoscopy, once you get a gallbladder stone, ultrasound proved stones in the gallbladder and infection is there, blood test will give you all the uh, facts and clinical examination will confirm the gallbladder infected stones. In those cases, best thing would be to do a laparoscopic work. It takes about 45 minutes on average in our hands and within 24 hours, we discharge the patient. Same laparoscopy can be done for reflex disease where the wall between the esophagus, swallowing tube and the stomach becomes loose and then you have the reflex disease happening. With early reflex, we can treat with medicines, change of lifestyle and also avoiding irritants like alcohol, smoking and using H2 blockers which block the acid uh, secretion. Now with this six weeks of medical treatment, the patient does not become all right or he develops sort of uh, hydrosonia that is with the weak valve 
the stomach itself can prolapse into the esophagus. That's called a sliding type of heart disease or mucosal prolapse syndrome. In such cases, we do laparoscopic nissen spindle plication where we tighten the valve, which is existing one, and the reflex does not occur because this valve acts like a unirational valve from top to bottom. Apart from this, we are also doing appendix regularly uh, where there is rightly of course, pain with fever and WBC counter side, especially for young people, lap appendicitis with a single port, only one port we use, one hole we use both for gallbladder and appendix and that gives a very good cosmetic effect within 24 hours of patient discharge. Even hysterectomies, laparoscopy, we do it through single port technique where through the umbilicus you won't see the scar after the operation. The entire uterus is disconnected on top from the abdominal side and pulled down from the by the gynecologist below. So, laparoscopy is a very, very useful technique for all common ailments within the abdomen and results have been exemplary and good. Now, the other operations for example, we are also doing cancer of the thyroid, breast cancer where we remove the entire cancer. This is not done through laparoscopy, it is done through open technique and we once we remove it, we replace the thyroid with thyroxin tablet and breast normally we a combine a cosmetic breast implant is usually applied for all these cases. Once we do that, the abnormal breast which has been removed due to cancerous lesion will look similar to the normal side on the other side. So, it is a very successful operation in our hands. Skin malignancy like melanoma, squamous cell carcinoma after complete excision, we are able to do the grafting also. Apart from this, other operations like you know uh, when the blood supply to the leg is interfered or we got a block in a major iliac vessel, vascular surgeries are also performed in our institution bypass surgeries for the blood vessel which has got very good success rate. Uh, and the total care we also give for the patient in the form of complete medical checkup, uh, master health checkup and also screening for all the uh, problems within the abdomen and within the chest and we treat them accordingly. Uh, whatever that is required a medical treatment is given when a medical treatment is indicated, a surgery is indicated we talk to them about laparoscopy work which is possible in certain cases and open technique work for cancerous cases. So, our centers have been literally for the past 50 years we have done very good job. We have been serving people and our results uh, have been exemplary. Thank you so much.